Palpatine background uh, don't like maybe or aren't used to the trial balance, let's say it that way, because it has debits and credits. But even if you don't like the debits and credits or are not used to them, you'll notice how much easier it is to look at a trial balance that doesn't have the subtotals and it has the balance sheet on top of the income statement in one report. So this is basically like a summary of the balance sheet and income statement in one report. So instead of having two reports open as you do the data input, you could, if you're used to it and you feel comfortable, just have the trial balance open and that could save you some tabs up top. So I think that's a really useful report. I'm gonna duplicate it again. The other common report is a subsidiary report to the accounts receivable, giving us a breakout by customer. So if I go up to the accounting tab and go to my reports, I'm gonna scroll down this time to the receipt, to, to the, uh, this is gonna be the, here we are, this is where I want, payables and receivables. So we've got the aged uh, receivable details and the aged receivable summary. Let's just go into the summary report. Uh, you have other receivable reports, but the general idea here is that as of any given time, we should have be able to track our receivables by customer. So now I'm breaking out my receivable by who owes us the money. Anderson Jones Smith, that ties out to what's over here, uh, the 20,500. Now in practice, we will often be working with collections on those receivables internally, going to the tab to the left by going to like contacts and looking at our customers, for example, contacts, we could go to, to the customers and we get an, another little summary of the people that owe us money. 